Welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out the Girardi P bass. Let's go! So, welcome back. Today we're checking out this cool bass. You may not know it. Uh, it's a Girardi, is Nicola Girardi, which is an Italian luthier uh, based in northern Italy and is uh, making very cool basses. Uh, he has a very interesting lineup, uh, but uh, to me, uh, since I'm not a bass player, I'm mostly a guitar player, I'm more interested in a bass that can do it all. Um, boy, this one can do that. It's the P bass, so it's basically his interpretation of the precision bass. It's a wonderful instrument to play and to look at. But first a disclaimer. Um, I know Nicola Girardi, He's a friend of mine, uh, so you may think this is biased. Uh, it's not. I really I, everything I say about this bass is what I think. Uh, but I want you to know that I, I may be biased because I know the guy. Uh, but believe me, if you have uh, the chance of trying one of these basses, you will believe me then. So now let's see the specs. So it's a willow body, maple neck with a Bocotti fretboard. It has a Fender Custom Shop Vintage Bridge. Schaller machine heads. It has vintage medium fret. Uh, they are nickel silver and they are blacked, by the way. Dual action truss rod with a wheel adjustment. Black tusk nut. It comes with a Delano D extender quad coil uh, pickup. Volume and tone with a three-way pickup selector. Mother of pearl position markers. And has this beautiful uh, Girardi uh, custom pick guard, which is a three ply with this uh, effect that is uh, unique to each uh, iteration. So each bass, each pick guard is different. But now, enough talking, let's hear it and then we'll come to the conclusion. Oh, mm -hmm. 
So what do you think? I think it's a brilliant instrument. It plays like butter. It's so smooth. The uh, I love the neck. The neck is the the winner in this in this bass. I, I like everything else, but uh, the, the the thing that you interact with uh, on an instrument is the is the neck. Um, and this one is so smooth. It has the right uh, curvature on the back. Uh, it's 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 really nice. It's round and thin at the nut. Uh, and it gets thicker and less rounded on the back, less C, more of a D shape uh, on the upper frets, uh, making it easy if you want to do stuff that I can't do. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really nice bass. And the pickup is the other uh, the other star here because it sounds amazing in whatever position you put it. Uh, in unbucker, it sounds really thick and heavy. Uh, it cuts through the mix. And if you go into single coil mode, it has a, a very bright and sparkly sound. Uh, I love it. And yeah, the tone works well. It's a great uh, sounding instrument. It looks the part because, uh, especially the fingerboard, I think it's uh, it's a stunner. Uh, and yeah, it's beautifully done. And uh, considering the price, you know, it's not more expensive than a Fender, for example. Uh, but it's a totally different instrument. Uh, we are talking something like the, the custom shop realm because this is this is made uh, by one man, uh, not in a factory with uh, a thousand other pieces. And you know, uh, it's also more unique. So if you are trying to find your sound, uh, you will be able to find it maybe with one of his bases. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's a standard. And I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you want to support me, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.